Okay, good morning, good afternoon to all of you guys. I hope you are doing well today and I hope you are all staying safe. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a full on breakdown for both Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue transformation, moveset and abilities that we could most definitely see them have in DLC 2 for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Of course, I will be turning this into a series. So if you guys want to see me cover other characters that will be DLC in this game, let me know in the comment section below which character you guys want to see me cover in this game. But anyway, let's begin guys. So this video, I'm going to be taking various gameplay play from other games such as Xenoverse 2 and of course Dragon Ball Fighters because we do see Super Saiyan Blue transformation in those games and some of those attack will most definitely be added into Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as future moves. But anyway, let's begin. So the first character of course is Goku from Xenoverse 2, Super Saiyan Blue. Now the first attack I really do uh, believe we could most definitely see for Goku in this game is Super God Shock, uh, Shock Flash because that was the very first attack we saw Goku use against Golden Freezer in the movie and of course the anime. Now of course this attack is a counter based move and I think it will be a perfect attack for Goku to have in this game because both Goku and Vegeta don't really have any counter based attack in this game. Now moving to the next one is instant transmission. Now I made videos, uh, various videos talking about instant transmission in this game. A lot of people in the community has been demanding this attack be added into Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Of course, instant transmission is one of Goku arsenal that is he is missing in this game. Of course, we have other attack that is similar to instant transmission in this game already in Kakarot, like the Wolf Kamehameha. I will touch on that later in the video actually, but let me know what you guys think about instant transmission be added into Goku moveset for Super Saiyan Blue. Now, of course, I, I have mentioned this move already at the side of the video is the Wolf Kamehameha. I also add the Super God Fist. Now, the reason why I add these two attack here, I don't really think they will be in this game, to be honest. But anyway, the main focus I want to focus on is Kaioken Blue. Now, of course, I really do believe and 100% think Bano Namco and Cyber Connect 2 are most definitely going to give us Kaioken Blue Goku. But the fact is, I'm not too sure if they're going to make this a transformation or if they're going to turn this into an actual attack. Because moving over to Dragon Ball Fighters, we see Goku have the Kaioken Blue, but in that game, he can use it as an ultimate attack as his level 3 and use it as a Kamehameha. We first saw that against Hit. There is two versions of this attack, guys. Um, he can use the Kamehameha and fire it, but he also have a follow-up where when he uses the Kamehameha, he can follow up with a punch. Now, they can go both ways. They can either add the... the um, the the um the Kamehameha and Goku follow up with a punch or they can just add the Kamehameha by itself but Goku regardless shoe and will have Kaioken Blue in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot like I mentioned I'm not too sure how they would go with that attack Kaioken is already in this game when Goku goes Super Saiyan God he can add Kaioken onto it onto it but let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below but anyway moving to the next attack this one is the super I think it's called the God um Shock Impact something like that in Dragon Ball um, Fighters this attack can, the way reason why I add this one on the list guys, they can most definitely turn this into, um, like I said, like a counter based move because like I mentioned, Goku and Vegeta don't really have any counter based attack in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I think that is something that they really do need because some of these villains in this game can be very, very hard and difficult. But anyway guys, let's move on to the next one. Now, this next one I really wanted to focus on, of course, the main character is going to be Vegeta. Vegeta Sama is the next character I really want to focus on. Now, with Vegeta, he has very interesting attack, one of them being the super, um, the final blow. Now, of course, this one was indeed the first attack we saw Vegeta use against Golden Freezer in Revival F. The reason why I'm adding this attack is because it was the first attack we ever saw this character used in that transformation. So, I really do think the, um, the final blow is attack that could also be added into this game. Now, the, the next one is my favorite. That Vegeta have is called the um the um counter I think counter burst I think that's the name of it. This is a counter based move. It can only counter key blast attack. Now, if you guys play Kakarot, you will know a lot of these enemies and a lot of these mean villains love to spam key attack. I think this would be a great way to actually punish them with this move because this move is a counter based move. Now, of course. They don't have to make this move counter ultimate attack or just key blast based ability that Vegeta can use and counter his opponent with and fire the attack back at them. I think this will be a perfect counter attack to give Vegeta character of course. Now moving to the next one I want to talk about is the super um, diving kick. Now I'm not too sure how they will use this attack in this game because there's some of these moves you guys are seeing here from Dragon Ball Fighters. It's only exclusive to that game but there is way around it. For example this Nagira impact that Vegeta you guys are seeing on screen right here. That was the attack that Vegeta used against, Go uh, against um, Goku Black in the anime. 
I'm not too sure how they'll use this attack in this game. Like I said, guys, I'm just adding, giving you guys the breakdown, giving you guys my opinion, how I think they will add it. Do I think this attack can be in this game? 100%. But I'm quite curious to see how they will add it in this game. Because Nagira Impact, it is one of Goku, um, Vegeta's most um, famous attack in all of Dragon Ball Super. The one he used on Goku, on Goku Black. So let me know what you guys think about that one in the comment section below. Now the next one I wanted to add on this list is the Atomic Blast. This attack is actually already in Kakarot. But the fact is, this move is only story-based move for, um, for, um, for um, Majin Vegeta. Majin Vegeta is the only character that have um, Atomic Blast. He doesn't really have that outside of the story mode. I think this would be a great way for them to give this to Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I'm not sure if they'll give it to um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or if they'll give it to Blue Evolution Vegeta. But either way, we need this attack in this game. But anyway, the next one I wanted to mention, I'm not sure if they'll even add this one in the game, is the Final Gallic Rush. Now, this attack was exclusive to Xenoverse only. I'm not sure if they'll add it in the game. I'm not too confident. But the next one I want to focus on is the Final Flash. The Final Flash is in this game. But well, in Dragon Ball Fighters, there is a various, very, uh, variation to this one where Vegeta will fi uh, fire the final flash and follow up with a massive punch impact that damaged the opponent. That would be cool to add in the game. Um, regardless, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure if they'll go with that, but they do have another option is the, um, the final explosion. Of course, like I mentioned, this attack is already in the game with Margin Vegeta. But the fact is, we already seen Vegeta use this attack in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, I mean Xenoverse 2. And of course, in the anime, when he turned on, um, when he was um, um, Blue Evolution Vegeta, when he used that against Topo. So that is another um, ultimate attack I could go with for Vegeta in this game, the final explosion. But let me know what you guys think about everything I just said in this video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Of course, comment, subscribe, and share the video around. Guys, we're getting really, really close to, you know, um, to 10,000 subs. I would appreciate it. If you guys could help share the channel around with your friends and your family. But have an amazing day, guys. I will be seeing you all very, very soon. Stay tuned on the channel because next week, we should be getting the V-Jump leaks. So stay tuned for that, guys. Have an amazing day and peace out.